the TEDx summit, I didn't know John, and I heard about the TEDx adventures. And I'm like, wow, that's a great idea. I got to do one. And I'm happy to announce that I just did mine last Friday. So our video, our images were due on Friday, and I sent them on Monday. So I'm not quite sure you know, why these images are here, but I'm going to try to go through as best as I can and explain a little bit about what we did. And I think I picked this one just because it looks cool. And people always ask uh, where Naperville is. We're a suburb of Chicago. Chicago is 25 miles east. Uh, for the adventures, we're fortunate that we're in between two large scientific uh, institutions. To the north is the Fermilab, and to the south is the Argonne National Laboratory. So we did adventures based on those. Argonne apparently has the world's largest uh, strong beam uh, x-ray. And one of our tours, we took 40 people, and they went through and talked to the scientists, and they got hands-on experiments. I'm going to run through these pretty quick. And we also got to look at a, which is now the fourth largest supercomputer in the world, called Mira. And the nice thing is that one of our speakers actually works on this computer. So in the morning, the attendees were able to look at the supercomputer. And in the evening, they actually got to hear from a speaker who works on that. We also did a quick tour at Fermilab, which ever since CERN came along, nobody really pays much attention to Fermilab anymore. Uh, people got to wear hard hats. They got to look at some cool stuff. I don't even know what goes on there. So I'm going to run through that stuff really quick. And we did an art tour, and nobody showed up. So, you know, lessons to be learned. <laughs> So uh, what I do want to share, though, it was an interesting takeaway. Because I, when I was preparing this, I'm like, well, why, why, why is the audience going to care about Naperville and these cool science stuff? I mean, who cares I mean, at some level? And one of, one of our tours, which I don't have any pictures from, was one of our speakers is a CEO and a founder of a book publisher, one of the largest independent book publishers in the country. And she had a, uh, an adventure about how to become an author. And she, for two and a half hours before our event, she had staff come into the attendees at, at their book publishing house and go through how do you take the creative to the publication to the marketing team, the sales team, the distribution team, and how to write a book. And all our attendees have a name badge that has a little tag of what adventure they're on. So during our break, I saw somebody with the, uh, the book tour, and I said, hey, how was, how was the book tour at Sourcebooks? And the guy's like eyes lit up, and he's like, oh my god, it was amazing. I'm like, well, tell me about it. And he's like, you know, all the other tours were, were full, so I took a chance, and I signed up for the, the book tour. And we went to this place, and these staff came in. They're showing us how to take your idea to inception and how to do the creative, how to do distribution, how to do the, the production, delivery. And he goes, you know, I was, and, and at the end of that, they gave us a book that tells us how to do the same thing of how to write a book. And he goes, I was so inspired, I want to write a book. And it really got me thinking, like, that's amazing. You have somebody who took a chance, did an adventure, and now he wants to write a book. And that, that I think, is a takeaway I like to share with people because as this adventure thing explodes, and it will be here in Boston and here around the world, uh, you know, when you pick adventures, take a chance. You know, do, definitely do the adventures that you think you're going to like and you want to do. But if you're bored, I mean, they're free and you have some free time, pick an adventure that you may not think you like. Pick out one that you know you're not going to like and just see what happens. You might be surprised. Thank you. Thank you.